Hi, Lou Rose. Hi, George. Thanks for talking with me today. No, thank you. Yeah. Um, so, Wolf, this movie, so I couldn't, I can't stop thinking about it since I've seen it and I saw it a week ago. And I think oh, it's really easy to like sit there and be like, oh, it's just a movie about people with clinical lycanthropy. But I think it's so much more than that. And uh, I want to ask Lily Rose first, what was it about this project for you that you're like, I have to be a part of this? I mean, this project was really, uh, even upon kind of first reading of the script, was unlike anything I had ever read before. And I was so excited about kind of how um, how unique and how like meaty of a, a role this would be to to dive into. And, uh, you know, I, I was really, really touched by all of the characters and and by the, the prospect of playing my character, Wildcat, um, and everything that she's gone through in her life and everything that she goes through in the story, um, as well as, you know, the physical preparation, which is, you know, uh, animal movement is something that I had not really explored before. And I was really interested um, in that. And, and also just obviously how it connects to the characters and what they're going through. Um, I just felt like this was was a story that I had never ever seen before and that was very unique and exciting in a lot of ways and also you know I was really um excited and inspired by the 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 you know the possibility of working with George who who I love and whose work I had loved before we we had met and and Natalie who's just like such an incredible Natalie our director who's such a a creative force and as soon as I met her I was like I need to work with this woman she's incredible <laughs> I love it. George, similar with you, like what was it about this project and all the physicality you'd have to go through and coming in with no judgment? Yeah, I I, I just was so kind of inspired and intrigued by like by the circumstance of, of Jacob, the character that I play, and the story itself is like he is a wolf and he is a man. Like, and how do you answer that? You know, it's right. it's how do you kind of find, you know, it's there's they're two sort of polar opposites and yet he exists inside of them all and who says that he's what and who said that how do you define yourself and all of the kind of the simplicity of that conundrum and all the possibility that how you express that and explore that all the kind of the possibility that um that is there in, in how you do all of that is what made me want to be part of it and then and then yeah in watch and then the script i just thought was amazing and then i also watched natalie's first film nocturnal which was just stunning so it was yeah it was a kind of perfect storm of the opportunity of figuring that out because you read it and go I want to I want to figure it out but I don't know it I don't know it yet you know yeah. yeah I I thought like for me I thought there was so many parallels too with like conversion therapy with people going through other things that people consider disorders and I just found this to be so powerful so what is the message that you guys are hoping to get across with Wolf I mean there there are so many so many uh messages and so many themes in this movie that I think are are so important and and are so uh, are so you know fundamentally human obviously because there's a lot of kind of animalistic sides to this film that we talk about but I think the the core of it is very very human um and is and is something that I think you know we can all relate to at some at some point in our in our lives I mean I think there's you know a lot of uh, a huge message about about self identity and 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 you know treating whatever you discover on your journey of self-identity with with love and respect because it deserves it and and not feeling like you have to you know cram yourself into any kind of a a, a box to feel like you're yeah to feel like you fit in or to feel like uh you know you'll be accepted and and also i think to that you know if, if you feel like you haven't found your community that understands you and that you know you haven't found your your people or something uh, that you will and that there's community out there for everybody what about you george what would you love to convey with this yeah, I th I think I think the film's more of an offering than a, than an answer. I, but I think it's a kind of an example of uh, of of two people, particularly two people's journey to to try and be true to themselves, and that's it. And then and in the sort of differing their, their respective journeys, you you get to see that everyone's journey is their own. And so it's it's not to give a sort of singular answer, but it's I guess an example of the the possibility and and the trials and tribulations of like. Of being true to yourself um but ultimately you know the, the hopefully inspiring people to, to to do their best to do that yeah. i love it thank you guys so much and i really hope everyone goes out and watches wolf it's fantastic thank oh, you thank so, you so much. much cheers <laughs>